on my recent visit to the Fort George Brewery in Astoria, Oregon. I almost said Washington there. Amongst the various beers that I got to go was the Wild Mountain. Is, was, was. Uh, present tense, no, past tense, I still have it. I'm no grammarian. It's the Wild Mountain. It's a mixed culture ale with nectarines and Mexican vanilla beans. And cool bottle art. Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. As I pour this uh, nectarine-colored beer, I certainly smell the uh, the wild, the uh, tartness. It's a nice tartness. This has been in my fridge since I got it, except for the two hours it took to drive home, three hours it took to drive home. So I don't expect it to have aged any in the uh, six weeks, I guess, since we bought it. Um, on a totally unrelated note, this is probably going to be one of the last videos that I record in this scenery because we have bought a house. Yay! Um, it's not too far from here, about 20 minutes. Uh, other side of town, a little bit outside of town. I have property. Woo! Five acres. What the heck am I going to do with that? Um, probably grow hops. Just kidding. Just kidding. For now. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, dive into the beer. Let's see. So, as I said, it's a nectarine colored. You know, the color you'd expect to come from a liquid made using nectarine. So, that's good. I wonder how much of the color comes from the actual nectarine, and how to, how much of it comes from the malts. Uh, it is an unfiltered beer, so there's a good deal of sediment on the bottom of the bottle. And being a, a mixed culture wild ale, I'm expecting this to be on the tart side. It'll be interesting to, interesting to see if I pick up any of the vanilla. Um, vanilla tends to play in support of other things. We tend to put it in things, and then you don't really... You don't really taste the vanilla unless it's maybe whipping cream, where vanilla is the only flavor besides cream and sugar. But I understand, like, chefs will put it into all sorts of dishes you might not expect, and it adds a floral and woody vanilla character to it, but in support of other things, so you're not really noticing the vanilla per se. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays in the beer, if I'll even be able to detect it. Smell-wise, smell-wise, there's definitely stone fruit some tartness, and you know what? There is kind of a smooth roundness uh, that I would expect from a vanilla, so there is vanilla present. I don't know how true this is, but there's the story that vanillin, the, the essence of vanilla that we taste and smell, is uh, one of the easiest for our noses to pick up. Like, it takes super tiny amounts of vanillin in the air for our noses to be able to actually detect and register and recognize it. Which is kind of interesting, perhaps. Overall, it smells really nice. I think the vanilla adds a, a warmth and a smoothness that balances, that counteracts. I'm not going to say it balances. It counters the, the, the sharper, more acidic notes. Um, I'm not sure how well it plays together. It still feels like they're two separate things rather than one thing working together. It's not necessarily a bad thing, just saying. It smells interesting. Um, there's almost a, an herbal tea aspect to it, kind of that, that floral floral character. Maybe it's the old peach zinger from Celestial Seasonings that's rearing its head. Eh, let's dive in. Oh, it smells not just herbal tea. There's a there's an iced tea character to it as well, which is kind of interesting. I wonder if that's more of the uh, the vanilla and playing playing nicely along with everything else. Hmm. Okay, it's a tart beer. It's not eye-wateringly tart. It, it feels like it's getting there, and then it holds back. 
just from the edge, just, just before going too far. It's a very, very nice tartness. And right away that tells me it is a super great hot weather beer just to start off with. The peach is perhaps detectable. If it is, it's it's just shy of being ripe peach. There's not like that peach sweetness. There's maybe the essence of peach. Frankly, the vanilla might be more present than the peach is. Which, sorry, I keep saying peach. It's nectarine. The nectarine. It is nectarine, right? Yes, it's the nectarine. A mixed culture ale with nectarines. The nectarine, I think the, the vanilla is more detectable than the nectarine. But it is, it's, it's like a still not yet fully ripe nectarine. So it's that kind of stone fruit tartness. But going along with the mixed culture ale, with this already being a tart beer, it's hard to tell where, where the tartness from the beer ends and where the nectarine tartness begins. But once again, it's, it's this really nice, beautiful tartness that works very nicely. And then you have this almost, um, yeah, the, <laughs> the iced tea is coming back kind of in the, the, the latter part. And I think that's the vanilla because unsweetened vanilla has that, um, kind of almost woody character along with the, the really nice, smooth, round, subtle, semi, not quite sweetness. And, and that's definitely what I'm picking up. And it, it, it makes it taste kind of like you just finished some iced tea, but it wasn't iced tea in your mouth. It was nectarine wild ale. I like that a lot. I like that quite a lot. The, the, the journey that it takes you on, you get this really nice bright tartness right at the beginning. And it's like three quarters, three quarters of the way through, two, three seconds of the way through. That's all you're tasting. And then that kind of drops off and you're left with this, this denouement, this fading finish that is the vanilla. Um, and it's, and it tastes kind of like you just had a really nice iced tea and, and then that, that fades off and it's really, it's really good. It's a good beer. I enjoy this one. I like this one. This is a good one. This is me, Matthew, drinking and enjoying Wild Mountain by Fort George Brewing out of Astoria, Oregon. It is a mixed culture ale with nectarines and Mexican vanilla, and uh, I'm enjoying it. I will enjoy the rest of it, and then I shall pack some more, because that's what one does. Anyways, this is me, chewing the brew, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>